Spiritual gain. Hmm. Does the Bible talk about that? Let's talk about that. Well, that was kind of weird. Anyway, all right, here we go. Good morning, beautiful people. It is Thursday, 6.31 in the morning. Yes, I still do this through the summer. I love doing this. Um, Because it gets me centered on spiritual thoughts for the day. I think about, I really do think about the scripture most of the day. Anyway, spiritual gain. Now, a lot of times when people read the Bible, especially the Old Testament, You know, they think of physical gain, of physical blessing, of physical money, physical riches. But then we get the New Testament and we're like, oh, that helps interpret the Old Testament. That God was not necessarily talking about physical um, or riches of a blessing. Now, that can come in that sense, but we, depending on how we use the riches and physical blessing, that's where our heart is. So if we have those things they're good as long as we use them for good Uh, a lot of people that are rich um, need to use them in the right direction or the right uh, purpose even those who are poor can still hunger for money more than God so that money is still an idol even though you're poor or you're rich so just depending on how you use it so we're not uh, bashing the poor or bashing the rich we're just saying that typically when it talks about blessing in the Old Testament and the New Testament, it talks about spiritual blessing more than anything. So when we read, when we go back and read the Old Testament and talk about blessing, we can interpret it with the New Testament, which is really spiritual blessing, spiritual riches, spiritual treasure, that we build up our treasure in heaven and not on earth where moth and thieves can destroy and fire. So uh, when we read this, we got to put our spiritual caps on and say, oh, this is talking spiritual blessing. Now, it could be talking about riches and physical and mental and emotional. Yes, it can be talking about that, which God does help in those directions because God does everything. God helps with everything. But if our spiritual life is not correct, <clears throat> none of this makes sense. If our spiritual life is not directed towards Jesus, or towards helping others, then this this scripture really doesn't make sense. So in Proverbs chapter 11, verse 24, it says, and yes, that's the daily read, if you have your Bible app. But anyway, it was really good this morning. One person gives freely, spiritually, servitude, um, helping um, with time, energy, money. One person gives freely, yet gains even more. Have you ever noticed that when you start giving, you actually get a good feeling, your endorphins you know, accelerate, your, um, you, you like doing it, it gets better, it gets easier as we give freely of our time, our talent, our money, and it, it, it's just a, a blessing in and of itself. And we gain even more, really, even though we're giving it away, we gain more spiritually. And then it says another withholds unduly. So... You know, you can hold some of that back, but it's depending where your heart is. If you're holding it back unduly, which means, you know, uh, keeping it to yourself and knowing that you keep it to yourself so you can keep it without sharing. Uh, another one withholds unduly, but comes to poverty. And when we, when we hoard all these things to ourselves, we kind of have this emptiness. We don't, we don't have this kind of idea of Let's give this away. Let's help other people. Let's bring them to Christ through through giving things. And then we have an opportunity to say, hey, I do these things because I love Jesus, because I love to serve. I love people just like Jesus. So as we look at this, um, I, I challenge you to think, where are you giving more? Not to the idea that you're going to get it back more, but the idea that spiritually we're trying to direct people with our giving to help them to come to understand that God is more giving, Jesus is more giving, and the Holy Spirit is more giving than any of us, and that he gives eternal life, which we can't give. 
we can only talk about it, we can only love Jesus more, we can only give more. But Jesus is the one who saves, Jesus is the one that gives all the spiritual blessings. So our challenge for you today is to, to give freely. Not because you're going to get back, but because God promised that spiritually we're going to flourish and other people are going to flourish around us if we give spiritually in service and in love and in gifts. I love you, Jesus loves you too. You have a great Thursday. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.